What's this? Stock wheels? You can't have stock wheels. Voila. Signature wheels, 20 by nine. With uh, Michelin 245, 45, 20s. So a fatter tire, bigger wheel. So pretty. A little bit, well, I should say a lot more flush too. Nice. So I got the new wheels, decided to unpack it carefully using a razor blade, make sure you don't mess up the tires. Now, what you want to do is get a breaker bar and break loose the lugs before you lift it up. The reason why is because the foot pounds is 150, so sometimes even my impact wrench won't take it off. So you can see here the width difference. It's a 225 versus a 245. So it's essentially a big difference on width. The new wheel itself is 20 by 9 versus 18 by 7. So a big difference there. Now I install everything. I'm using my pucks to lift it properly. And also I'm using a jack stand as a backup just in case the jack fails. The wheels are bigger, 20 by nine, but they're also about just as light because they are forged wheels, they're not cast wheels. So there's a weight difference, it's very slightly, they're not really much heavier than the stock wheels. They're not as aerodynamic, so they are gonna lose some efficiency on the highway. Local shouldn't be so bad. I can use the stock lug bolts, which I like, and also when you install it, as you can see here, I like to install it in a crisscross pattern for proper torque distribution. So the torque specs for each lug nut is 150 pounds. So it's pretty heavy. My torque wrench actually maxes out 150 pounds. Uh, and then you're gonna do it on the ground, not in the air. So now I'm just pulling it out, doing a quick test drive down the road to make sure nothing feels wobbly or funny. So no issues, you could go ahead and go back around and torque around just to make sure if you feel like it, probably a couple hundred miles torque again. So that's my video, what do you think of the wheels?